hi students <coughs> welcome you all so most of the students ask one question sir how to solve integration by parts so see students integration of by parts is a very simple concept if you understand it in mathematics it's common that unless and until you don't understand anything everything will be tough but once you understand the concept mathematics will be will become very easy okay so in this video i make you sure that you are going to solve every problem of integration by parts within one minute or within lesser than one minute at least if you don't solve within one minute you are going to get the clear concept of integration by parts see this is one of the very important concept in the integration so that's why let us do this as much as easily possible okay so first here you have to understand what is integration by parts okay so see here in the integration you are going to have two functions the integration you are going to have two functions in the form of product okay so whenever you have two functions in the form of product how you are going to simplify it integration of u into v with respect to dx okay so no problem here the first thing is i late this you must know okay this is inverse trigonometric function this is log function this is algebraic function t is trigonometric function e is exponential function okay so according to this you have to choose first function and second function let us take u is first function v is second function so see here what integration by parts formula tells you have to write first function as it is you have to integrate the second function with respect to dx minus integration of square bracket integration of v with respect to dx into differentiation of the first function with respect to dx okay so now you may ask sir still it is very complicated for me i have to write u integration of v minus integration of square bracket integration of v uh, into differentiation of first function again it is going to me make me to get confused then how easily we can solve it so it will be in every student's mind okay so for that you just see here what you have to do you just understand the thing what you are writing here what you are writing here you are writing the first function you are writing the first function next multiplied with integration of <coughs> integration of second function integration of second function okay minus next what you are going to write here you are going to write integral symbol so after that what you are going to write you just see you first uh, write integral symbol then what you write in this integral symbol you are going to repeat one term what is that you just see you are going to repeat this again you are going to repeat this again that is integration integration of second function integration of second function okay multiplied with differentiation of the first function differentiation of the first function see how simple it is you have to write first function as it is multiplied with integration of the second function minus you write integral symbol okay you write it integral symbol here the same thing what you have written integration of the second function that you have to repeat here integration of the second function multiplied with differentiation of the first function and don't forget this i late okay 
so this is what happens with integration by parts either you remember this formula or you remember this second technique okay what the technique tells first function as it is integrate the second function minus integral symbol and next you have to write the integration of second function multiplied with differentiation of first function okay so how it is going to work you just see here i will take one example i will take one example integration of x into cos x with respect to dx equal to so use ilet x is algebraic function cos x is trigonometric function so algebraic function comes first trigonometric function comes next okay so here also algebraic function comes first uh, trigonometric function comes next okay what we have to write first function integration of the second function that means you must know what is integration of cos x what is integration of cos x write it sin x minus write integral symbol no problem see here what is there integration of the second function integration of the second function that means this sin x has to be written it here again okay multiplied with what is differentiation of x that is 1 with respect to dx over how simple it is x into sin x integration of sin x is minus cos x it will be plus cos x plus c see to solve this much you take lesser than one minute to solve this much you will take lesser than one minute very very simple okay you take another one you take another one integration of x into sin x with respect to dx will be equal to what you just see here you can take this as first function this as second function what you have to do write first function as it is integral of the second function what is integral of the second function that is minus cos x write minus sign integral symbol here what you have to write you have to repeat the integration of the second function what you got integration of the second function minus cos x so here minus into minus will be plus cos x multiplied with differentiation of the first function what is that one with respect to dx okay so now minus x <coughs> cos x integration of cos x is plus sin x plus c how easily you can solve it you just see this okay now you can go for the another function also see what happens you will get log x how to integrate it now it is only one function so many students get confused it is only one function there is no formula for log x then how can i solve it that is the very big question okay so for that what we have to do we have to write it as 1 into log x please remember here 1 will remain as algebraic function log x will remain as log function so according to i let log x becomes first algebraic becomes second function so now you can write it as see first function as it is integration of the second function that means integration of one is x minus integration of you have to write the same term here so that is x multiplied with differentiation of log x that will be 1 by x with respect to dx cancel x and x integration of 1 will be x. okay log x into x minus x plus c will be your answer okay next you can also go for tan inverse x okay so here again you get doubt how to simplify integration of tan inverse x very simple you just see i have to write it as tan inverse x into 1 with respect to dx okay here also same tan inverse act as a second function 1 act as a first function from your eyelid please remember from your eyelid see here uh, sorry inverse trigonometric function will be the first function algebraic will be the second function okay 
so that means tan inverse will be the first function and uh, algebraic will be the second function okay so therefore we have to write it as tan inverse as the first function one as the second function so now to write tan inverse x as it is integration of one is x minus integration of see what we have to write here we have to write the same term what we got that is x multiplied with differentiation of tan inverse x that is 1 by a square plus x square with respect to dx okay so now you just see it will be x into tan inverse x minus so here you can write it as uh, it will be differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 uh, dx divided by 1 plus x square okay this is integration of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square 1 by 1 plus x square with respect to dx okay so now this will be x divided by 1 plus x square with respect to dx so now <coughs> I can adjust the term here 2 and 1 by 2 so that it will be x into tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 so here you can just see it is in the form of f dash of x divided by f of x with respect to dx that will be log of mod of 1 plus x square plus c this will be your answer see to solve this type of problems it takes one minute or lesser than one minute if you know the concept of integration by parts clearly okay so that's why here you have to remember one important thing first thing is i let first thing is i let and the second thing is the concept of integration by parts that is first function first function multiplied with integration of integration of second function integration of second function minus right integral symbol repeat the same term <coughs> that is integration integration of uh, second function integration of second function multiplied with uh, differentiation of first function okay with respect to dx so i think this help as many as students please comment in the comment box if you have any doubts the next video i can clear them or if you get any doubts you can also have an other choices of commenting in the comment box and also you can ask me okay